Welcome back to Adam Does Tech Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to set a static IP for Home Assistant. So let's jump in. To assign a static IP, we need four things an available IP, NetMask, Gateway, and DNS servers. Let's find the gateway first. Navigate to Interfaces and select the VLAN your Home Assistant box is on. In my case, it's IoT. Scroll down to the IPv4 address and make a note of it. This is your gateway address. For me, that's 192.168.10.1. Also, make a note of the number in the drop down to the right as your net mask. In my case, it's 23. The next thing we need to check is our DHCP range. Navigate to Services, ISC. DHCP v4 and select the VLAN your home assistant box is on. In my case, it's IoT. Make a note of the available range. This is all of the potential IPs for the VLAN. In my case, this can be between 192.168.10.1 and 192.168.11.254. The other thing you want to note is the range. This is a range of addresses you don't want to use because they can be handed out dynamically from DHCP. In my case, it's 192.168.11.1 to 192.168.11.254. Make another note while you're here for DNS. If the DNS servers box is populated, then note it as that address. Otherwise, it would be the same as your gateway address. Because mine is not populated, I'll note it as 192.168.10.1. Let's look at our notes now. We know the available range is 192.168.10.1 through 192.168.11.254, but the gateway address is also included in this, so it can be excluded. We also know the DHCP range can be excluded from this as well. That leaves us with an actual available range from 192.168.10.2 through 192.168.10.254. Let's jump over to Windows Terminal and make sure the address we want is not already in use. I'm going to first ping an IP I know is in use to show you what you'll see when an address is unavailable. We can see the address is responding, so we don't want to use that one. Now I'll ping the address I actually want to use so you can see what it looks like when an address is free. This timeouts are a good indicator that the IP is free to use, so that's going to be the IP we assign to Home Assistant. Let's jump over to Home Assistant now. We're ready to set the IP. Navigate to Settings, System, Network. In the Configure Network Interfaces card, you need to expand IPv4 under the Interface tab that's connected to your network. In my case, it's WLAN 0. Click Static. Set the IP and NetMask to the Home Assistant IP and NetMask we noted earlier. In my case, it becomes 192.168.10. 23. Ensure the gateway address and DNS servers match your notes as well. Click Save. Now let's see if it worked. Open a new tab and navigate to the IP we just set. That's all there is to it. Now your Home Assistant IP won't change on your network. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share.